I think that a lot of people are like, oh, I'm changing. I'm going to lose all my friends now. And like, it doesn't have to be like that. And you can give people a chance too. like, sometimes people will surprise you. And I think that being able to see your relationship for what they are and not needing them to be anything that they're not is a huge spiritual maturity. It's like, oh yeah, with my pickleball friends, we definitely, I get this need met. And then with my church friends, I get this, you know, I've seen a lot of people have that kind of thing. And it just kind of depends on where you are and what you need. And I, I just think it's a really great point to not throw people away just because they don't get you now and to allow your relationship to blossom, even though you may be so different. It's kind of cool. You being who you are and you approaching them with unconditional love and letting them be who they are and not challenging them or threatening them with your newfound awareness, right? People will be brought into your path to be blessed by you. People will be brought in your path to connect with you. Now, in terms of like the meaningless conversation, what I encourage is trying to find those connection points anyways. You're always going to be around people. And so just having the very basic kind of tips in your head, like you can always ask about family. You can always ask about travel. You can always ask about how work is going, but you can do it in a deeper connecting way. Like, how are you feeling about your job lately? Has your work been inspiring to you? What is the coolest project you've done this year? You know, like you can have questions that help these less small talk conversations go into a deeper space. If you are more of a deep feeler and you like connecting on a deeper level, you can have connection points because that's ultimately what everyone wants. But so many people have trauma wounds around connection. And you can tell that immediately, typically through eye contact and, and posture, body posture. So if it threatens them to connect, they will run away from you and they'll never come back. Something I think a lot of people do is they have this awakening and then everyone around them needs to awaken too. That doesn't feel good. If like my friend gets into like car racing, I don't want to have to do car racing too, but they can do it, right? Not putting it on other people is really important too. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have a bunch of other spiritual healing videos on our channel. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you all. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Awaken with Sophie.